What's up, everyone? It's me, Dennis from Super Pirate Bros, the guy with the crazy Kramer hair at the moment. I'm going to be talking to you about one of my favorite decks of all time since OP01. It's going to be the blue purple Kaido. This guy has been getting great support. Any general purple or blue support is good for this leader, so we're going to show you why. Of course, the main theme of it is going to be uh, Sanji into Kaido, which is actually a very consistent thing. And I'll talk about that and go over the profile really quickly before doing some matches live for you. So let's just go right down to it. Uh, so your leader, of course, gets gets your free dawn when he has one attached to him and something is KO'd on your opponent's field, which is pretty easy to do when you have things like Kaido, King, and just simply attacking over characters to help yourself ramp. So decent effect. And let's get right into the profile. Let's uh, 2k counter is Sasaki. Uh, very powerful 2k, has a decent on-play effect. Shuffle your hand if your hand is super horrible in the start of a match, so it can help you out there. Who's Who is going to be searching all of your Animal Kingdom pirate cards, including your Onigashima Island, which is why you'll see that I only play three. We don't need four because it's very easy to get. We have Who's Who that's going to find it for you, which is essentially playing seven copies of the card anyway, and several other searches in the deck as well. So let's go to the next one, Ulti. She's from OPO5. She lets you pick something up of the top three and then place the rest in any order, which is very good to help you utilize your Sanji effect to pick what goes next. And also pick up Onigashima Island if you happen to still not find it after a while. Same goes for x ray a really powerful blocker that lets you do the same. Um, that lets you look at the top five of your deck and place them at the top five in any order that you would like. Or at the bottom if you don't like anything that you see. So cards like x ray and Ulti are going to help utilize Sanju's effect. So that you get to choose what goes next in the top deck. Meaning you get to move Kaido right into place where you'd want him. So let's look at Sanji. I'm going to play four on him because he's the whole theme of the deck. It's very powerful. You just reveal the top card of your deck on play, and if it's nine or less, you get to play it. And nine costs or less means Kaido, which is everyone knows what Kaido does. He's got rush and destroys something on play. So crazy, crazy effect. And to help him find what you want next, because obviously you don't want to just go random and have something, you know, random fall down, which even if not, like look at all these high cost characters that you can cheat out with him. It's not bad anyway. But you have Ulti, x and then I play Deval in a way to help you look at the top cards of your deck so that you can uh, place whatever you want with Sanji's effect. So the idea is to have Sanji in hand or have him ready to be drawn the following turn and then you already know it's going to be on the top deck so then you just play it easily. I'm playing Duval over something like uh, the 3-drop Dofi because he costs less. It doesn't matter, he's just going to be killed by an effect anyway, but... Looking at the top three and fixing them up is good enough to me. And it costs one less down than Dofi, so it'll help you uh, make stronger attacks. It's just better than Dofi in this build. And I'm playing one board wipe Kaido because, of course, it's a board wipe Kaido. Very good surprise. Can just uh, turn the tides of any game whenever you want. So just one of him. The rest of the deck is going to be less than nine or nine and less so that you can use Sanju's effect. Uh, we have another extra egg. This is the one that discards the card from your opponent's hand. Not a bad effect, but mainly here for the 2k counter and searchable through who's who. I've got uh, Captain Kid, which is another blocker that gives you free dawn to ramp. Usually I don't prefer him. I always prefer to go into extra egg, but he's just that damn powerful when you use him and uh, together with stuff like Kaido or King afterwards or even Queen afterwards. So I say Captain Kid is a must. I'm playing one of this Rover no Zoro. This is a promo. Uh, and uh, he has banished, that's pretty much it. 6-7 uh, with a counter. So he's very good against the yellow matchups because, um, yeah, yellow only wins if they have triggers. We all know that. So eliminating that from them is pretty good. You might want to bump this up um, probably over an X-Trick or over King. So let's look at King. He just saw uh, KO's a guy on play uh, with a cost of 4 or less with minus and 1 down. So pretty good. And then a big beefy body at 7k after that. Queen helps you draw and is a blocker. And Captain Kid, this is um, the 7 8 one. Uh, of course, he gets you a dozen power for uh, two turns total every time you do his effect, so it's really good. And he, to me, is just the next best target after 9 drop Kaido. If you don't see this, uh, this is the next thing you'd want to play with Sanju's effect. We've got some 0 3s to discard useless cards from your hand. For example, extra Onigashima Islands. That's what this is good for. And if you end up drawing too many boss cards, another good reason to play that. So I'm going to get right into some battles. I'm going to quickly delete me face off this thing here. A little western. Okay, so now we are back at it. Uh, let's just refresh the lobbies. 
I decided to remove my face from this corner here because we get to see things a lot um, better. Like what I'm choosing. I don't know. Anyways, we found Sakazuki for starts. Um, we're gonna have to mulligan because the only thing you ever want to see here is either Island or your um, Who's Who. We saw neither, so that's gonna be a problem. We can't do anything this turn, so we're just gonna pass it right on back to Billy. He's probably got brand new Bramboo. Oh, I'm so glad this guy's getting banned. He's been gatekeeping so many decks for a while. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. I got the island right there. Let's just do it. I'm gonna get free dawn every turn. Although he's gonna specialize in completely destroying our characters, but that's perfectly okay. Also, another thing you'll see about this deck and the way I built it, and the way um, the dawn ramping goes, um, anytime you play x -Rick, the following turn, you could already play a 9-drop Sanji if you have Island on board. For example, next turn will be at 6 Dawn, meaning 7 with Island. And then you play him, the following turn you get 9 Dawn to play. Sounds a little confusing, but I'll show you what I mean. I can actually count that out. I'm going to probably get rid of Rowan over Zoro. Probably the one I want to play the least in this matchup. Though he's got a... Kuzan. It's going to be a very big problem to me. Well, we're probably just going to go for x Drake next turn. Hopefully we see Sanji's and the Kaido. If we see Sanji and Kaido in the top 5, we're going to go right into the combo. So, let's see what I get here. x Drake. Oh, okay, so we didn't get it. Uh, we did get 9-drop Kaido. So we actually could play the Kaido if we want, or we can go into a Captain Kid. Probably go into the Kaido just for uh, deleting that uh, Kuzan there. And then I'll put a Kaido uh, down at the bottom again. So start place on top. I want to draw Kaido next turn. And then the rest of these guys can come up in that same order. That's cool. All right, put this guy next. We have one extra Dawn to attach here, whatever. And hit him for six. Okay. So he's gonna have to attack with Kuzan to do an effect, but he'll have to give it a Dawn. Yep, there we go, because you don't want to waste your attack. Of course, I'm just gonna block and put one down like this. That way you can use your effects to KO me. I mean, we're gonna make him, we're forcing a Hound Blaze on him, so that's good. Or Rob Lucy. Okay, that's fine. We can still counter out that. We have a 2k. Okay, perfect. We got the 9 drop Kaido. And we can just knock out the Kuzan. Or I can probably just knock out Rob Lucy and then attack Kuzan. That's probably better. I don't think he's going to counter out anyway. So let's just do that. Go into five return. Uh, knock out the standing guy. Let's see if he decides to protect. Either way, I'm gonna hit leader. If not, probably gonna ice age me, but I think it's okay because it'll stop him from playing Moria. Because he's at the Moria range, so if he wants to Ice Age me, he will not be able to do the uh, Moria combos. Okay, he countered out. He might have a bunch of 2k, so he might actually protect him fully. Okay, there we go, that's fine. Pretty sure he's going to Ice Age me down. And we have Island, so by the next time I see that following Kaido, I'll be able to play him. Yep, here we go. Reduce the cost, reduce the cost. It's going to take him uh, quite a bit of resources just to knock him out, so that's fine. Rebecca, probably this. And then what? Okay, I'm at 5 cost. You're going to need Ice Age and then Hanblade, so good. Took him all the cards to do it. Look at that. He didn't even have enough to do it, and he lost. 
So we got one win. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't get to show you any combos that I wanted to, so we'll go right into another match right away. Alright, let's continue to showcase the power of Kaido. Oh, okay. Let me just host the lobby. I think it might be easier. So my name on here is Propane Accessories. Okay, we've got another... Oh, too powerful deck here. It's uh, that guy. Okay, he goes second, so I'm going to keep because I do see the island. Fortunately, no who's who, so no free uh, searching. But, you know, this is Katakuri, the deck that wins off of triggers. I don't think uh, there'll ever exist a game of Katakuri winning without hitting a nice trigger. But it's also very likely because I, I feel like they have like a 60 to 70% chance of getting something good. Alright, we got the island, just start doing that. He added the uh, 7 drop Lin Lin, okay. Already a pretty uphill battle for me. What is this? Oh god, he's just manipulating his life now. He's gonna hit me for a big eight. Okay. Guess now your King Kokujos are valid, are alive. I can actually go King, but I might not. Should probably go this ulti route, take something up that I want. Or I can go clean and just draw two random cards. Probably that's better. Although next turn I'll be at 9 dawns, so instead I'm not going to do a minus effect. I'll just do a, something that won't make me go minus. Okay, should go pick up x Drake. That's fine. Place the rest at the bottom. And now we get to hit for a sweet 7. Although I forgot to attack first, I probably should have done that. That went backwards. Now I can get Onami or something. Okay, nothing. We're good. He's at 6. Next turn I'll be at 9. I can go ahead and drop the 9 drop Kaido. And I'll probably kill whatever he plays. Hopefully he plays something sort of big. Oh, he's not playing anything. He knows Kaido's coming. <laughs> he's like, screw it. Uh, yeah, dude, that is not going to go through. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lose the Duval. Okay, that's fine. I probably don't need Queen at this point. I'm not going to play him. I'm going to be going for x Drakes to fix my uh, top. Hmm. Okay, so Peril's Peril. I don't know if it's worth knocking him out just to give him a card in hand. I feel like it is. I think whatever, less pressure on me. Nine. Let's go ahead and hit the leader first this time, do things correctly. Okay, Mr. Gidats. Although I could go ahead and play something like King, but. Yeah, you know what? I'll, nah, there's no point. Just hit this guy. Probably want to attack with this first. I'm not going to bother with pudding because that's three dawn investment just to do that. So, all right. Next turn he's just going to go seven drop Lin Lin on me. So it doesn't matter what he adds to his hand to me. What did he add? Oh, 2k, whatever. It's one less card he's attacking with. Yep, let's trash my own. Don't need it. He's gonna hit me with seven. I can actually drop a. Uh... Next turn he'll be at ten. Oh, you're hitting ulti. No, it all allow it. I should I protect it just to maintain board presence? I don't know. I'll protect them. I'll drop this and this. Oh, actually, that was stupid. I should have dropped my 0 3. Jeez, okay. 
Yeah, I should have used my zero three. Oh well. You know, I got nothing to play. Though I'm not gonna give him any time to play something like. I'll probably just go king. I'm gonna give uh, one dawn to him, so I get to get a free ramp as I do it. Let's start hitting the life first. Okay. Because of Beji coming out, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this to the leader. Very surprised not to see anything on him, so I'm gonna go king. Just to KO the pudding, give him one less attack. And then I get to ramp one with Kaido like that. And now we're at seven. Okay. If he drew nothing to play, what is that? What did he do? Oh, of course. Of course. All right. If you play a 10 drop Big Mom, I think I got it though. Nah, not enough. I guess I gotta let that go. Go ahead, drop a 10 drop. I can still win. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? What am I doing? If only I can find that uh, rushing Kaido. I don't know if I will. I can sort of... Nah, yeah, I have to go for game this game. This turn because... Next turn I'll have to look at these things attacking me anyway. This looks like I can go for game. I can have Kaido attack this. Let's do who's who. Please find me something good. Damn, that's not really anything that I want. I guess I'll take a blocker. I have absolutely nothing to play. <laughs> I can only load up Dawn. Whatever. Uh, at 9, 2, 3, 4. Of course, there's your things already. Uh, none of those things are going to help me out next turn, so I'm just going to place them all at the bottom. I'm going to hope to draw a 9-drop Kaido. That's all I can hope for. That's it. Let's see if that was enough. I mean, that's fine. I'm not going to do anything about that. What is this, 10? I have exactly 10 to block with, so. Ah, he's got it. So you see, that's another case of uh, him winning because he's got a, a trigger in the name of Satori. See, without Satori, he would have not won. Probably without hitting that 0-3 earlier, he would have not won. Uh, just category things. Alright, continuing to find matches because the thing keeps on uh, locking me out. I gotta keep trying again. Let's join uh, Dr. Choppa. Okay, good. We got Moria. Actually wanted to fight this. We also want to go first because we want to play Who's Who or our Onigashima Island, in which we saw none of, so we're going to mulligan. Uh, still didn't see it, but we have one Sanji, so let's hope for the best as we uh, draw our cards. So since we're going first, we got nothing to do. Just pass. All we're getting is a uh, meta decks today. All right, fine. Yes, Island has a draw. Let's go. All right, let's uh, hit you with the Kaido Thunderbolt. All right, what did you even trash on? Uh, did he add anything? Oh, he drew Helmeppo. Okay. 
And then he discards Helmet Bell. Wow. Alright, he's got a great start. But then again, so did I. I have Island. So next turn I get to play X Drake. And according to the maths, uh, you play X Drake and it lines you up perfectly to get whatever you want playing Sanji on the following turn. So in two turns I'm going to be able to play Sanji and into whatever I see with X Drake right now. I'll show you just how powerful that combo is. So I'm going to first uh, take out probably Captain Kid. Nice, I'll take out Ulti. Just protect from that. He's probably going to hit me with 7. Which is weird because now he can't revive his guy. But I'm going to protect again because I want to have some advantage. So I'm going to go uh, probably go Captain Kid. Goodbye. Because I at the moment have everything I need so I could uh, afford to have a tiny hand. He probably messed up. I don't know if he read his effect right. Maybe he tried to do his effect. Oh, never mind. He's just trying to play double brand new for some reason. And he didn't see anything this time. That's very good for me. So let's do the math here. We have Island. We are currently at our 7. Next turn we'll be at 9. Dawn. And then we'll get to play Sanji. So now with our extra 5 we get to play an x -Rig. Let me first attack. I can actually ramp up a Dawn a lot faster. So let's do this. If I KO this guy, brand new over here, I get a free Dawn active. That way next turn I'll be at 10. I'm pretty sure he's going to let that go through. There's no reason to protect that guy. So now with X Drake, I have a strong blocker and I get to place things on top. See, look at this. This is so damn perfect. So next turn, I want to... Uh, draw into my Captain Kid. So we're going to place on top. I want to draw the Captain Kid, the little one. Then we're going to play Kaido with the Sanji effect. The following turn, we're going to be able to play another Kaido. So I'm going to put the Kaidos right in a row with each other. And then I'll leave it in this order. So watch, you're going to see next turn, I'm going to be able to uh, play Kaidos back to back. And then I even have a 10 drop Kaido coming in afterwards. So if he does happen to destroy them all with Ice Ages or whatever he does. Oh, there we go, Meteor Volcanoes. Go ahead, use your resources because I am about to obliterate whatever you put out. Okay. So now he's going to Absalom me, but that's okay because that takes up his whole turn. And he's just going to play one card. Perfectly fine to me. Used a lot of resources just to do that. So we're looking good. We'll have to take that. And um, no trigger because next turn we're going to be at 10 anyway. But if not, imagine just hitting that sweet trigger. Alright guys, I'll show you the power of the combo. So we are at 10 Dawn. I can actually go ahead and attach one Dawn to Kaido so that we get a free active one after um, 9 drop KO something. So we're going to do it this way. You get to go Sanji, deploy Kaido, use Kaido, return 5, knock out this standing Absalom. We got a free Dawn with uh, the leader's effect. So now we get to hit for 7 and 10 and get Island. So next turn we're at 9 Dawn once again and then I get to play the Kaido I left on top. So that's just big brain stuff to remember when you're playing this deck. And now we have Sanji that can attack the following turn too. This is uh, pretty disgusting actually. I think we're in a huge advantage because now he's going to have to try to Ice Age and KO two 9 drops. Which is going to be really difficult for him. Probably impossible. And then our hand is filled with blockers for when we're going late game and uh, he needs to try to beat me. So we're looking good. Oh, he's actually countering out. It's kind of crazy. But I guess if he has a 2Ks, why not? Alright, this attack will definitely go through. He still has a lot of life, so we got a long way to go. So the match can honestly go either way. We'll see what he plays. Probably a Gecko Moria, I'd assume. That's fine. If he does that, he won't be able to KO any of these guys. And then I get to attack uh, again for these uh, huge beefy dudes. 
we have our zero three event, so I should be able to cover whatever he uh, throws at me. But hopefully he goes the route of uh, Ice Age, Ice Age, Absalom, because that'll use up again all his resources. I have another Kaido coming up again next turn, so we're good. And either way, he's not taking out both of them. I'm pretty sure there's no way he can do that. Unless, yeah, no, there's no way he can destroy both of them in one turn. Okay, he's going to go for uh, playing a character, maybe uh, Hogback. Yeah, Hogback, you're probably going to pick up Moriah, the Aatrop. I didn't check his uh, trash. But I'm assuming he wants to get his... Uh, Nine drop. Oh, he's hitting 11 to this. Are you kidding, dude? That's not going to go through. I'll do my zero three right now. I'll trash uh, with Duval. Actually, I'll trash it with Queen. I'd rather keep the... Uh... Yeah, I'd rather keep Duval. That's good enough. Next time we're going in. So, yes, he did pick up Gekko Moria at 8-drop, but you're going to see it's way too late for him. Way too late for him. With 9 Dawn, we can just go ahead and knock him out. So let's start hitting this. And then the following turn, he plays Moria. It won't matter because he's going to have to go up against two Kaidos and a Sanji. He's in a serious trouble. Okay, let's don't forget to do the island. Let's hit with uh, Sanji to leader. He's been covering everything so far, but I don't think he can go much further than that. He might have to take these next three hits, actually. Okay. And here we go. Let's knock out the hog back. So now you don't have that to attack next turn with. And we're just devastating him. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Sanji into Kaido. Into Kaido. This is wild. I know uh, Black Moria has like a whole bunch of uh, Tuki counters, so he'll be fine for a bit. But next turn, he's going to probably play only uh, Gekko Moria. He's probably not going to be able to knock out any of my guys, unless he has a couple Ice Age or something. But we'll see what he does. Either way, we're in a really good spot. He's got one life left. Next turn, I should be able to attack with at least two powerful attacks. Or three, if he plays a blocker. But I have my own blockers coming in as well. I still have Usus Captain Kid and Duval. I believe my next draw was going to be a 10 drop Kaido, so that's going to be useless, unfortunately. But next turn, we're at 7. We can literally play a 5 and a 2. You see, he had to scoop. It got way too much for him. Like, you're not going to deal with this next turn. Sanji, Kaido, Kaido, and my leader, Kaido. So that's been, uh, I believe, three games with the deck so far. Um, let me know what you guys think. This is pretty powerful. I really like it. It's so damn fun to play right now in this format. I think it's pretty damn good. I uh, plan to make it in real life and start taking it to locals and see how well it can do there. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.